Speaker recognizes Representative Manoogian. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today to support House Resolution 160, which welcomes Afghan refugees to the state of Michigan. For the past 20 years, our country was at war in Afghanistan against extremist, repressive government at odds with our country's core principles, principles that are at the heart of a free and democratic society. Our brave service members were joined by allies from across the world in this fight to secure our nation from a government that gave safe harbor to terrorists who attacked us on September 11, 2001. In this effort, we were joined by tens of thousands of Afghans who put their lives on the line to help as interpreters and translators, machinists and janitors, and every other job that our military and the wider national security apparatus needed. That service to our troops and diplomats came with a price. They knew that by associating themselves with the United States of America, that those who wished to do our troops and diplomats harm would do the same to anyone who assisted us. Now, with the United States of America's military withdrawal from Afghanistan, our government has an obligation to uphold our commitment made to the Afghans who made our mission possible. Nearly 65,000 Afghans have been forced from their homes by the repressive Taliban regime in their most recent takeover. Today, here in Michigan, we are looking forward to welcoming 1,300 Afghans who are looking forward to making their home in a safe, secure place like all of these folks, they simply want to live freely, their lives freely with peace and security. And it's a blessing that Michigan will be that place for them. During testimony on this resolution, Madam Speaker, it's been asked why we as a body should bother welcoming refugees through a resolution since churches and other organizations are working to assist families as they create their new home here. The argument was also raised that there was no need for us to say something. And it was inferred that our state had no role to play in this effort. Frankly, I could not disagree more with the sentiment, and I also have to point out that the very premise of it's actually factually incorrect. We had a veteran from the state of Michigan testify to how important this resolution was to him personally, as he and so many of his friends who uh, would not be alive today if it were not worth for the bravery of the Afghans who risked their lives and the safety of their families in support of our freedom and security. This resolution shows that we are honoring the sentiment of our troops, especially those who left their homes in our state to serve, the sentiment that they love and care about the safety of the Afghans who fought alongside them. At the state level, the Office of Global Michigan and offices within the Department of Health and Human Services work to assist with wraparound services for refugees that we settle, including the 1,300 we will be welcoming here to Michigan. Furthermore, to paraphrase my dear friend Father Danaher's testimony before the House Committee on Veterans, Military Veterans and Homeland Security, our voices matter. And the opportunity we have here today with this resolution indeed matters very much. We have an opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to settling so many of those new American residents who are looking for a better life, just like so many of our ancestors did, including my own Madam Speaker, when they looked toward this country as a place to create their future. The day I was sworn into the legislature, my dad told me the most important thing I need to remember when I carry myself onto this uh, chamber's floor every single day is my commitment to keeping my word, because honestly, it's the only thing we can count on here in our line of work. When we make a commitment, I believe, Madam Speaker, our words should be our bond. 20 years ago, our nation made a commitment to the folks who helped our troops and diplomats that we would keep them safe from those who wish harm upon them and our, their families, just like how they worked so hard to keep Americans and our allies safe. This resolution reaffirms this commitment and supports our effort to make good on this promise and also symbolizes the American handshake means something. I ask you and our colleagues today to join me in supporting House Resolution 160, welcoming these Afghan refugees to our state to make their home here and to stand alongside me in committing to ensure they find Michigan to be welcoming and loving and the caring state that we all know it is. Thank you, Madam Speaker.